Okay, so Maba Monche Monche Nagenko Adias here. So what we are going to learn today, somebody saw the uh, the fly on my DP and it was like sex, and I was like, we are not just going to talk about sex, but the energies that we emanate during sex, and we have no idea what they are, what we, we actually produce, how to take advantage of. That's what we're going to talk about this evening. Okay, so let me go to Lord Akam and uh, get his microphone open and uh, start the conversation with him tonight. We are looking at spiritually physically what are the energies thereof during sex and how do we take advantage of that lord good evening yeah good evening mm. and how are you doing by the grace of the universe i'm good okay how about you? i'm good i'm good so uh, as i told you a lot of anticipation tonight a lot of people just uh, sending me message they are tuning in they are tuning in so what is in it? Sex energy. Okay, first and foremost, I greet greetings to all our listeners mm. and viewers as well. And viewers as well. We thank the universe for giving us this very day mm. for us to share and continue to share as we are always ready to share. Mm. I hope our life is prolonged or existing made realized and we actually achieve our very purpose in this life mm -hmm. before translation okay um today's very today's topic is very very critical mm. and interesting as well yeah i had somebody <laughs> ask me magic uh -huh. uh, like yeah she had magic yes so magic yes what is magic magic comes from the word mage mm. when i say word, we had a word Megos, okay, or Megai. Mm. So, if you read some of the older Bible versions, you hear the three wise men. Some of them are replaced with what the three Magi. Mm -hmm. Magi simply means wise. Wow, wise, and that's where we got magic from. Thank you. From that word, we had the word magic mm. or magician. Mm. So, when we say something is magical, mm. that means it is of magical, it is of wisdom application. Now, as I always define wisdom on this very platform, mm. wisdom simply means knowledge applied for proven results. Mm. Knowledge applied for proven results. So magic is simply the application of what? Of knowledge. Yeah. Magic is simply what? The, the manifestation of what? Of wisdom. Okay. Simple. So okay. when you call somebody a magician, simply means one who applies his mind thoughts being and actions for what well, in relation to what application of thought of nature's principles mm. for the benefit of humanity okay or to prove to humanity that which is okay so that's what it simply means so when we talk about magic mm. it's nothing out of the norm okay that many of us have that uh, what the professors used to do on stage and all of that you know uh, a professor Hindu yes okay yes and I, I, ha I had opportunity for kind of managing uh, magicians young magicians from TV3 and following them for some months I got to realize that magic is nothing but science it's and a little bit of smartness or tricks yes but it's 80 percent science anyway so Dr. Kanida Guse, yes, she is listening. All right. So let's let's continue. Sex energy, like, is it the energy that we exert, especially we the men exert during the sex that we are talking about, or or what? Well, can we talk about sex energy? Hmm. We're specifically talking about intercourse. Okay. Copulation, coitus. Hmm. I mean, when the male. And then the feminine genders mm. actually come together. When I say come together, actually become one or become unified mm. through the unity of their what, of their genitalia. Mm. Sex energy can be performed on several platforms. Okay. But on a more serious note, when we talk about sex energy, we are actually talking about sexual intercourse. intercourse. Okay. In sex, sex is simply a union between a man and a woman. Mm. 
uh, how do you say it? Is it um, a union between a man and a woman? Whether for pleasure, for procreation, whether for procreation or whatever. Mm-hmm. We talk about sex energy. It is the energy released during such encounters, whether by the man or the male, and by the woman or the what the female. Yeah. Talk about sex magic. It simply means the conscious application of these action of this life process of what of reproduction or sex uh-huh. which is an aspect of reproduction yep. the conscious application of these actions for spiritual what gains, gains. or purpose hmm. so once the action becomes conscious you become aware of the activity you are doing and the energies uh-huh. and whatever is actually what ongoing be- well, between you and that person people. and then the period within which this activity or this action is taking place mm-hmm. is what is meant by oh, sex energy magic okay the energy is there what the energy is whatever happens or the, the energy is the force or the will mm. or that or, or, or that uh, essence or that force that or that actual, that actual, that's actually giving out or giving off produced during such what actions okay in order for us to understand sex sex energy and sex magic first and foremost sex is something even animals what undertake Mm -hmm. (laughs) sex is something even animals undertake so humans have sex animals have sex for us to understand sex energy to separate us from the animal we should know the very essence of what of sex Mm. when we get to know the very importance and the relevance of sex we get to understand what underlies this what this activity and how we can what we can actually what invest and tap into this energy for the benefit of oneself and all humanity Mm. without sex you 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 would have not been here yeah I wouldn't have been here. Mm-hmm. So first and foremost, sex is a what? Sex is a product of thoughts. Sex is an action. Mm. Mm? To have sex or to copulate mm-hmm. is a product of what? Of thoughts. Whether it was forced sex, whether it was consensus, a uh, mutual mm-hmm. or, or mutual um, grounds, mm-hmm. it is still what? Sex. It is still what? sex because it was first preceded by what by a thought whether it is the thought to rape it was still what the action that gave birth to that what it was still the thought that gave birth to what that did action mm-hmm. of what of penetrating okay. so first sex is actually what a product of thoughts okay. made manifest what in action mm-hmm. and that action it's also what energy in motion mm. Mm? I said oh, it's what energy in motion. in motion now first let's deal with the feminine the feminine sex I always say the feminines are the only per- the feminines after sex we do have orgasm mm-hmm. whether you have it or not still a child a child comes out of it mm-hmm. This day, that is what if you want. <laughs> that is it. This days, if you really what want, want a child out of it. But is sex solely for pleasure? No. Okay. Then why don't you rather use that pleasure moment to rather generate an energy mm. to feed your own self and whoever is around you? Also, to project your thoughts, increase your thought power towards whatever you will to what achieve. Achieve. Just let's let's weigh the magnitude of this action. It's something we can actually bring life into existence. Is that a joke? No. Is that a joke? It looks like most most of us, ninety nine point nine nine percent of us, has never even talk, thought of it. Is that the, apart from the the normal pleasure that we get and babies that can come out of it, that's the end. It is the greatest activity to have ever what 
be hmm. this what you need to understand sex whenever you are having sex we have two bodily fluids what mixing up hmm. to get it mm-hmm. this is what it is there is a fluid from the man and there's a fluid from what from the, the woman, the woman. Hmm. now let's go deeper into this each and every one of us as i said the law of polarity manifesting in and through what in and of existence each and every one of us we are of two poles the positive and then what the, the negative. negative so each and every one of us is made up of also two vital essence mm? mm-hmm. two vital forces one is the life force okay the vital life force which is known as what the key the chi mm. Mm? the car or what a holding okay so our strength we also have the jing the jing is what is the essence when we talk about the essence it is the pre mode should it be physically we will say that we have energy but the energy must be what must be transmitted through or through a medium mm-hmm. so that medium of transmission of that energy and operation of that energy becomes the essence mm. so based upon the essence will determine even after sex should you even release i'm talking about sex now i'm not talking about sex i'm talking about sex and then sex energy not even talking about sex magic yet mm. the essence will determine which life form will be produced or will come to life after that period of what copulation so that the essence becomes the mode through which the life force now what operates mm-hmm. what you need to understand is each and everything within this universe and existence has this life force or prana or key embedded therein mm-hmm. and this life force manifests with what with this polarity which is what positive and what and negative mm? which is known as what the key and then what the chain the key or the chi and what and chain now these two energies or these two po- poles of the life force is manifesting through all things so before this life force flows the essence determines in which direction it flows and how this essence together with this life force will manifest or project or be or become a manifested aspect of the universe hmm? so even this water has a life force in it even this microphone although inanimate still has what has this life force or energy within it now let's go into science what the science say everything is made up of what atoms right the smallest indivisible what particle of what of an element thank you and what is in an atom when you actually look at the cross section of an atom or you go deeper into the well, an atom you can find what you can find electrons you can find protons hmm? you can find neutrons and the orbit upon which the electrons what revolve revolve or rotate or move around what the nucleus of what of the atom within this are subtle energies of what of gluons muons bosons this taking us deeper into science <laughs> physics but so what is electricity electricity is what is whenever electrons are in motion electricity is actually what produced produced so electricity is simply what electrons in what motion. in motion so everything within this universe has what has electromagnetic what force embedded therein which is what an aspect of what of the life force so don't think you are the only person who is embedded with energy mm. everything within this universe is embedded with what with energy, energy. whether asleep or awake it is still there latent or what or latent mm. so now at the point of sex this is what happens i told you 
we have what? We have the key, which is what the vital life force. And we have what? We have the jing, which is the essence. And the essence is actually the mode, the carrier of what? Of the key. And the carrier of the key will determine whatever product or whatever manifestation that life force together with the key will actually what? Result in. So a dog copulating with a dog will give birth to what? A dog. Man, humans will actually give birth to what? A human. A snake and a snake will give birth to what? A snake. And this, all, all these are, all, are predetermined by, all, by the essence, which is the carrier, which carries what? This life what? force. Hmm? And the essence in human, because we are humans, we are, we are, we are, we are emphasizing upon the human state. Humans, yeah. It's actually embedded within what? Within the bodily fluids. Hmm? Yeah. One is what? It's the blood. Two is actually what? The semen. Of the man. Hmm? Are you listening? The semen of I'm, what? I'm listening. Of the man. And the what? There is also what? A discharge of what? Of the feminine. Hmm? Okay. Aside that, within this semen, the discharge of the feminine is actually what? Which, which is, is as, a, as a result of, of the testosterone and also the release from the uterine walls. When a woman is in, in, in her orgasm, whatever discharge that comes out hmm? mm. which in itself is what fluid out maybe we can we'll go that into that the mucosa aspect of the uterine walls during what during ovulation you get into that so these bodily fluids are carried within them this what this essence hmm? and within this essence or bodily fluids also this essence or is also what embedded within what Within a manifested principle, in the man we find the sperm, in the woman we find what? The ovum or the ova. Hmm? And at every point of ejaculation of the man, we have from 40 to 500 million what? Sperms being released. Hmm? But somebody will say, Where was this sperm? On a most rose note, the sperm has no storage within the body, but it goes through a process. Thank wow. you. The sperm is being secreted by what? The sperm. The, the sperm is being secre- um, by by what? By the the testicles. From the testicles, uh, from the epi- uh, um, epididymis, from the testicles to the epididymis, epididymis to what? To the uh, vasa difference. <laughs> and vast difference throughout the urethra, and what? And then what, you, you ejaculate through what? Through your phallus or what? Your your pen. Or your pinna or your penis. With the woman or the feminine, it's actually what? We, we can find the fallopian tubes and we can find what? Um the ovaries, right? And when this when the, the, the what? When these pens are released, they actually what? Swim. Hmm? To this Ovium is being what's being released, fuses with it, forms what forms a blastocyst, and then what to them going pure science. Don't mind me, it's just for the scratch. After us, yeah, no, no, <laughs> many of us are anxious <laughs> to go into <laughs> the main thing, yeah. And this thing now what flows and now becomes what embedded, it flows, developing into what, um. Into a, a from blastocyst to zygote to an embryo, then it becomes what embedded within the walls of what of the uterus through or the placenta. <laughs> Do you get it? Okay, so I have a midwife listening, and she says that anatomy enter <laughs> like you are teaching her <laughs> anatomy. Thank you for tuning in, uh, Evelyn. Hmm. Eh, yeah, so this thing happens. But let's get to understand something. Mm. At the point of sex, something happens. Okay. But before we can actually understand what really happens during sex, the spiritual aspect, we need to understand the physical aspect. Okay. Mm? Mm. First, listen. I think this is what everybody has been waiting for. <laughs> let's get to know how the sperms, the sperm or the semen, 
mm. is produced. Okay. Once you get to understand how it is produced, you get to value it the more. Okay. First, you eat your food, so your food particles or your um your elements within the food mm? mm-hmm. in this liquidated form. I don't know. I know we have scientists over here mm-hmm. and also others listening. Mm-hmm. From liquid, listen, it forms liquid in its liquid form through the lymph. Mm-hmm. Mm? The lymph vessels, it was, it, then it, what, it develops into what? Into blood. Okay. From, from blood to what? To muscles. Mm? Mm-hmm. From muscles to bones. Okay. Mm? From bones to bone marrow. Hmm? Bone marrow to what? To semen. Okay. So from liquid, blood, from liquid, blood, muscle, bone, bone marrow, then what? Semen. Okay. Hmm? And then what? Semen. This seven seven parts that's liquid blood fat okay i forgot to add fat mm. liquid blood fat muscles bones this is how this is the process Good through process. which every food ingested within eat. the body mm. goes through wow bone bone marrow and what and semen. then semen so semen is the what is the final product of food ingested mm. so every 40 kilos of food <laughs> that you take can only give you <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> hmm? why are you laughing dog because it's it's you eat plenty of food and this more semi way they, they produce <laughs> where people they mash mash up like that too hey. So this is what happens. So this semen is produced, and upon every ejaculation, mm-hmm. hmm? depending upon the food you eat, you take, hmm? yeah, yeah, it takes you from fourteen to twenty-one days for you to reclaim this what energy. Claiming, uh, what do you mean? In releasing sex, in releasing semen, you're actually losing all this this aspect uh, this aspect of yourself. Oh, okay. That is why when you release or you have so much sex or when you're uh, when you when you're involved in so much sexual encounter, and what ejaculation, it leads to what, quickened what aging, union them yes. Oh, really? Due to what weakened what bones because you're actually eating up what your own what bone oh. marrow. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> The boys, what are they? The boys. General fatigue. And what? And mental what? Retardation. Wow. That is why right after sex, although who you'll be at. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it will be like you, you've been giving some um, dirty slap and you are picking things on the ground. You are not, you are not thinking right. Thank you. <laughs> so with the release of every semen, mm. you're, you're not only losing what? Your essence. Mm? Mm-hmm. You're also losing what your key or your what your vital life force. So you have it what with your essence. So indirectly, you are dying gradually. Wow. And when we are able to retain these what these essences, this key, this semen, this bodily fluid in yourself, the stronger what you become. Mm. Yes. So in sex, this is what we go through. In every sexual intercourse. Wow. This is what we go through. So imagine. It's not just a mere thing. Thank you. As we we, we take it. We are not even come to the the, 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 the state of what orgasm. Treat, mm. We haven't actually even addressed orgasm. Okay. And I pray we get there before our time is up. <laughs> Do you know one thing? This is what we need to understand. Mm-hmm. I first told you that we are made up of our, our brief our breath flow mm-hmm. deviates or dilates mm? between what between the positive and, and then what the negative okay and that of nostrils. the woman nostrils and that of the woman 
Her right nostril is what is the negative breath flow, and the left nostril is what is the positive what breath, breath flow. flow. Okay. Eh? Mm. So now this is it. Within our brains or within our brain, we have what? We have the grey and then the white matter. Okay. Eh? And within every chakra, within our body, we can find this grey and white matter over there. Mm. And this grey and white matter is actually what? The positive and then what? The negative charges of our of our body respectively. So there are battery cells within our body. Mm. That is why all the chakra centers, which is known in the the, the Western system or the Western uh, the Occidental school of thought as what as what as the endocrine system or the glands so in the in the vedic system it's not as what chakra chakra means what wheel mm. or a turbine and what does the turbine do it turns it tends to, to produce what energy, energy. Mm. so our breath flow if the positive flow is in what is in motion it feeds what the white the white what the white gray matter what giving off what positive what energy mm. force or bioelectricity within what our brain and what and body mm. when the negative breath flow is in place it feels what the gray matter giving off giving up giving off what negative what energy negative bioelectricity or by negatively charged bioelectricity what within our what our body by so doing the body is made up the body itself is made up of what has its own bioelectricity what generation what system Yep. Thank you. So at the point of every ejaculation, losing all bodily fluids. That's why whenever you're in the state of orgasm, you you, you feel what a shock run through you. Or you feel that energy run through you. Let me tell you one thing. In between our spinal cord, right? Mm -hmm. There's what? We have the cerebrospinal fluid which flows from our brain. Through our spinal cord to our coccyx, when I say the coccyx, which is the tailbone or the smallest um, vertebrae of our backbone, and then back upwards, and we in between what well, within this spinal cord can be found what the gray and what uh, the gray and what and white matter, which are all, which are also what neurons or brain cells, so they can also think on their own. Mm. That is why we have set we have what reflex what actions. Yeah. Thank you. Now. The more and more you are really you are actually having that sexual encounter this energy generation system is also what in place operating and it's what it is what a fluid and this fluid is what it's always moving from what from your head into your spine to the base of your spine which we call the kundalini or the cord what serpent this is what was said in the bible concerning what the serpent in the garden of what of eden your body is a garden and the serpentine structure please each and every one of us take the cross section of what of the semen mm. take the backbone with what with a scar or the, the central nervous system that the skeleton not the skeleton okay by your the scar or the scar or mm -hmm. the brain mm -hmm. the brain with what with the with the with the spinal cord on it okay take this with this peripheral uh, nervous systems take this place them aside and place the serpent and look at how they all look like mm. in the days of old they knew and understood this but due to the difficulty of using what representing them with what with scientific what technologies they rather made them into what into stories mm. using symbolisms <laughs> so this serpent is only talking about sex sex energy and what and the semen so not actually talking about real snakes and no please that is why in meditation in yoga you are being told to what to elevate what this serpentine what energy hmm. and this serpentine energy didn't just come to a lie what in the kulanili it actually what drop from what from the mind or from the brain it's a fluid which drops into what into the base of what of the vertebrae hmm. eh? and one is to what awaken it by working it, you are rather sending this energy back into what? Into the brain. Yeah. And as it gets back into the brain, I've already told that the what the spinal column is made up of what? The positive and what? The, the negative, negative what? Cables, yeah, cables and or energy what system or the battery cells of our body. So once you are raising these energies, you're actually not recharging your chakra centers or your what? Your glands. Hmm. 
and as it rises, it actually it actually it actually activates every aspect of it. Why? Because from the spinal cord, we have what never uh, we have what peripheral or nerves connecting to each and every vital organ within our body. So as is there, as you are actually re- we raising it, you are actually regenerating this energy to re-energize this what this very aspect of yourself. That's why those who are actually able to retain so much um, um, abstain from so much sex, they are mostly what healthy. Okay. And they are healthier than what? Than those who, are, who actually release so much. Mm. And the more you even release your sperms, the more what? Your immune system also what? Lowers. So even isn't, HIV... Isn't, isn't there a way to balance that? So even HIV mm-hmm. is not only caused, or AIDS is not only caused through a sexual intercourse. Even so, or excessive what, release of sperms can lower your, your body's what? Immune what? System. Which can make it liable and vulnerable to what? To external what? Diseases. Diseases. Hmm. And still AIDS has been what? Can, can be detected. Yes. But but talking about those who have sex and those who don't, with those who have sex, isn't there a way to balance balance the, the, their body system? Balance your bodily system. Mm-hmm. So that the sex energy you lose wouldn't physically affect you that much. It's like just telling me, mm-hmm. moving two steps forward and three steps backwards. You just at the same place, or even more backwards than where you went. So you are actually you are sick. You are giving you are taking medicine at the same time, doing you're, what you are taking what made you sick. So what have you done? So you can regulate it. Any regulation, regulate how you spoil your sperms. Okay. Regulate how you what you discharge you, dis- you discharge what your bodily what fluids as mm. a man or a woman. Okay. Do you get it? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you one thing. The more and more you release sperms as a man, the greater the possibility of what of actually giving birth to more of what of feminines than masculines. Yes, mm. yes. Even it is said in science mm. that the more you release sperms, you are releasing the vital what sperms. Mm-hmm. You believe you are releasing the vi- the more you release semen, the vital semen are what are released. Mm-hmm. And over a time will come now. All the remaining what semen will be what will be weaker ones, right or, or wrong. Thank you. No, but but science also tell us that uh, if you eat a certain way, you, you, your sperms will continue to, to be healthier. What about that? Yes, it will be healthier. Mm-hmm. It will be healthier. Mm-hmm. But the point is, so long as you are releasing, mm-hmm. h- how healthy it will become would be determined. That, it will be, it will determine what it will be determined by what? By the rate at which you also what releasing. You okay. get it? Okay. It's not just. The health aspect okay so i think we'll get there what's as somebody was asked what is your agenda <laughs> i said sex about say how many is it five times a week we'll get there and find out how many times in a man's life will be appropriate and all of that yeah but continue from here we'll get there where you you explain that to us thank you mm. so on a more serious note this is what we all are involved in Mm-hmm. concerning sex mm-hmm. so we need to understand what we are in mm-hmm. so that when you're doing it you know what you are doing and we all know what we are missing mm-hmm. and what we can do to replenish these energies that we are losing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it is said in mysticism that we are having more women or we are having more feminines being given birth to due to the rate at which men have sex men are losing their vital what spams the more you lose your vital sperms, the greater the possibility of, of giving birth to what to feminine. Science will tell us it is the mother that determines, or isn't it? Mm-hmm. Or is it the man? Which of them have the XX and which of them have the XY? XY chromosomes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But right, right now people are getting uh, afraid, especially the men. <laughs> <laughs> So, so now let, let, let's let's move on to now we've known the process from when we eat how the food converts into different stages to become the semen and yeah. how when the semen are, are, are released through ejaculation and all of that how it affects our bodies yes like especially men it affects our bodies and our minds okay now I want I want I want us to go to how do we take advantage of this especially now God in, in relation to the topic energy wise how do we energize ourselves with 
sex thank you so then now, we'll come back to so now we've jumped into the sex magic itself mm. yeah so we've now come back to the sex magic itself right yes okay so let's go on mm-hmm. so now now that we know this mm. now how can we consciously apply these principles to our benefit okay mm? Mm. cautiously and what and positively beneficially mm. that's where sex magic actually what comes in mm. you see this is it in having sex a lot of things do happen mm. every position has its own language mm? or codes or codes mm. why because every position that a person a man or the woman does I, I as i always tell you each and every nerve within our body has an ending within what our palms and what and our feet under our feet mm. and our palms are made up of what of five what fingers okay or phalanges right mm. or digits these five fingers symbolize what the left symbolize what the negative pole the right symbolize the positive pole and uh, what Vice versa. And vice versa for for the feminine. Mm. Oh, do you get it? Mm-hmm. We have what this five fingers is what is a manifestation of, of the f- five principal what elements of nature, mm. which has been symbolized into what into the five point star. Mm. That's mm, water, mm, F, ether or space, air, fire. Mm? Yeah. It interchanges based upon what the school of thoughts, whether the Islamic, whether the Oriental, the Occidental, the African, or the Kemetic. Mm. But in all, it's, a, it's, it's evident that what we have the elemental what, manifestation within our palms, and these mm. elements manifest in what the negative and what and the positive. The yeah. same way with our feet, negative and then what the, the positive. positive. And then we have our waist, right? Dividing our body into what into two equal parts, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have the upper sphere and we have the what the lower what manifestation. Mm. So this so, is what so, somebody is, is commending you here. <laughs> he say he I, I I I like the cool composure of my master this this evening these days. Uh make him uh, flow smoothly. Yes, myself I'm enjoying it. Yes, we don't we don't want the circle yes sir. <laughs> presentation. Let's go on, Lord. Mm. And and for those of you who are listening for the first time, Lord I come is a spiritual scientist so you might hear something that is off your head maybe you you you're only exposed to the scientific school of thoughts about what he's talking about but he also add the spiritual uh school of thoughts as he knows to it so those of you listening and maybe you might feel a bit confused if you i think if i you get this background of him you 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 can follow well yes so at every position mm. know that the mind the seat of the, the the mind is actually made up of what three aspects the conscious subconscious and then what omniconscious mind mm? Mm. and the seat of the conscious mind is what is the brain okay eh? mm. and the brain is what is the central the, the brain what the spinal cord are what the central nervous system together with what the peripheral nervous system mm-hmm. right so the brain coordinates every activity of the physical body through what? Through impulses sent through what? The nerves. So the nerves will be like what? Fiber optic cables. Yeah. Hmm? Kind of what? The messages and impulses to each and every what? Respective what? Organ of our body. Yeah. Hmm? But the body itself generating its own what? Bioelectricity. Through what? Through what? The taking of what? The, or the breath flows. And what? Using that energy what? To churn or to what? To move the turbines. Which are what the the gray and what the white the matter white matter in the brain in the brain and what also what the, the the endocrine system or the glands and what or the chakras so at every position that you do it's actually what a correlation between what bone during sex correlation between what bone the skeletal system the body framework muscles hmm? and what and nerves okay which are carrying what messages which and these messages are actually what thoughts of what of the mind i told you thought is not only what you what, what you lament or deliberate about you have a problem thinking is the faculty of the mind so whenever you see yourself thinking 
is the mind which is what which at, is emotion work. Mm. so thought is simply what mind in what in motion mm. so whenever the mind moves we experience it as what as thoughts okay whether voluntary action or what involuntary action it is still an activity of what of the mind mm -hmm. whether through the activity of the gray matter or the white matter or the brain itself okay it is still what the mind in what in motion which is what which has moved as what as electric or, or electrical what impulse through what the nerves mm. sending that message to what the respective what organ so during sex these are things which are happening mm? as i told you the formation the, the stage of formation of what the the the, the semen the semen liquid blood fats bone bone marrow and what and semen so in every sexual encounter all these things are also involved in the encounter mm. can we go deeper yes your body fluid actually makes it possible because any time during sexual encounter there's what there's what an increase in what in the what in the rate of what circulation blood, blood, blood circulation circulation yeah mm? and brain or mental what activity so the liquid is over there the blood is also what working mm. carrying the life force around the body to supply what oxygenated mm. blood to what each and every what cell mm. through what the fat the fat is being bent down to produce what energy mm. at the same time muscles muscle making it possible for your waist and every part of body what to move mm. at the same time your bones and your bone marrows your bones making it to support your heart, your body mm. to make it what move and the muscles being attached to what the bones make it possible for what for the motion mm. and later the bone marrows which is actually what's the uh, what the embodying aspect of what of the what, inner aspect of what of the what, of the bone yes mm? yeah we put it, which produces what the red blood cells right yep thank you also what the semen the semen i told you red is what is the color vibration of what of mass and mass is what energy force mm. eh you get to that very aspect you get to understand why the blood is red Aside from the scientific aspect, we can use this word, the esoteric aspect to actually explain to you why the blood is what red. is red hmm. and why deoxygenated blood is actually what is darker than what oxygenated what blood. So, in every encounter, all these things are actually what, working. Mm -hmm. So, as you are actually what in your sexual mood, every position of the man or the woman is actually what coordinating what setting what movements of what of the muscles and certain aspects of what of the body. Eh? Yep. Thank you. At the same time, certain aspect of what of our nerves are at work. Also, certain aspect of what of our own fingers and hands are at what at work. At work. So this coordination of what of our hand fingers or gestures, that of our toes, is in itself what giving sparks. It's just like you adding two cables; they'll give you a spark. Pop, pop. Yep. All these things are actually like giving certain sparks, which will actually what dictate a change in what a change in energy flow around the body at every point in time. Hmm? That's redirecting what energy, which in itself manifestation of what of our emotions, our thoughts, or now movement during the what the encounter. So when you bend with your knees down, yes, you are actually what. The energy is actually focused upon what the knees, mm? yep. which also alters what the energy flow within the body. So whatever position that you do, you're coordinating what an asana. When you talk about asana, sitting posture mm -hmm. or bodily posture, mudra is what is hand gesture, body posture, asanas. All these things are being coordinated at every point in time. Mm? Mm -hmm. So through this very sexual encounter, you're actually communicating with your own self with your mind and with your spiritual self at that very point in time eh yep. thank you now at the point of copulation what happens the man is within the woman the woman is around the man okay yeah eh, -eh? yeah thank you and you're actually sharing each and everyone's words breath flow you get to understand what I'm saying very well when you're about to orgasm. Some of some of you do not actually experience orgasm, though. <laughs> when the point of orgasm is being attained, 
You can't you, you guys realize a synchronicity between what the breath flows of the man and the woman at the same time. Yes, their breath flows now what comes on the same pattern, moving at the same pattern. Yes. Nice nino o ti me so nim. Eh? Mm-hmm. And what you need to understand is at this point there's also what energy release. During sex the thoughts of those involved in the sex also forms a part of the encounter. Mm. Mm? Before we even deal with the magic itself, we need to understand deeper, deeper, deeper. Mm? The thought of those involved in the sex also what counts. That's the thought of the man and the woman. And the woman involved in the in what they are thinking at at, at, at the, the point of intercourse. Okay. Per se, the women are very fond of this. They'll know. Sometimes maybe due to your hardship, you want some money to pay your fees, and somebody is taking advantage of you. Mm. During that sexual encounter, you're not yourself. And they can be insulting the man in their head. Mm. Stupid, foolish man. And then you me. Yeah. <laughs> they know mentally they'll be a feminist. A man who doesn't love a woman, but out of the the, the, the ladies. Uh, f- f- feeling of what of uh, how the lady is actually showing off, mm-hmm. just trying to actually prove something. Praise the man, as this this bono woman. <laughs> yeah, just just to just to show off something. He, he, he let, just going. For let the, the man the man feel that he's doing something. No, I'm t- even talking about maybe a lady in, a, in an area who is showing off so much. Okay. You don't have it, but I just wanna have intercourse with her so just for so you to actually prove Bo- to her that your ego. That is it. In such an encounter. As the man is doing it, foolish girl, do you think I love you? I see. I mean, we are not video. I caught up on my man for Stupid girl, me we are not going to You see, so even within the intercourse itself, whatever is going on within the minds of these two people, mm-hmm. the lady who is also cheating on the man, hey, into the me, hey, into could you pan my phone? Into could you me boni biayo? My husband has never offended me in any way. And what am I doing? But I'm having sex with somebody else. Yes. So oh. all the thoughts, thoughts go through the mind. The mind. As, as the intercourse is going on, all mm. these subtle thoughts, everybody is thinking their own way through mm. it, mm. and they don't come out. Wow. Mm? They don't come out. What we need to understand is, at the point of ejaculation, mm. eh, when we, we release what our key, eh, our vital life force together with what with the essence, which is the semen, during orgasm or uh, during ejaculation, this is what happens. You are also projecting that thought of the two of you, you know. You are also projecting that thought what? Force. That thought force. So whatever you are thinking at the point of what? Intercourse also become impregnated within what? Within the fetus. Or whatever child you born. Hmm. That's dangerous. So in a jfa i'll be reading some of your messages a lot of messages on facebook yeah. and if you want to send your message uh on whatsapp is 024 and i'll be reading them for you yes i i mean it i'll read each and every message before i leave the studios tonight and thank you very much those of you watching on facebook for sharing the links and those of you listening online i appreciate you a lot so lord let's continue Let's go deeper into the, the the energy and the magic. Thank you. Mm. So, during this, you're all projecting the thoughts. Mm. And bear in mind, that few thoughts which will be formed, which will later grow into what? Uh, 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 we, we, uh, that that blastocyst, which will grow into a few thoughts, um, a later into what? baby uh, going to an embryo a later a fetus and then to come out as a baby also comes with what with the subconscious mind of whatever was happening between the two of you wow so even at the point of sex whatever you think about that very outcome or that very issue of that very encounter also be, become impregnated with what with that thought consciousness so what are you projecting through your sexual encounter that's why it is always advisable to be what? To be well informed. Get yourself prepared before what? You have this encounter. Hmm. So there's one friend who actually said, I don't just propose to any woman. But should I think of proposing to any lady? I make sure that this is the very person. Should anything happen, I wouldn't regret marrying him or her. That's, that's very, very true. <laughs> 
That's very true. Although he wants to just flick and go, but yes. at the same time, he's prepared for whatever comes like, along with okay, it. Okay, should 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 the unthinkable ca- happens? Would I be able to accept her? Will I feel comfortable when people point? Hey, that's your that's uh, for us wife going, for us girlfriend, baby mama going. Will you be happy? I think that is very important. Thank that, you. That's very important, and every man should think about that. Eh? Hmm. So in sexual encounters, we are all following these suits. So even the, before the child is born, all these things affect us. Hmm. Let's go into one very aspect. Hmm. You see, I want us to understand because we are all products of sex. Yes. So let's get to understand before we bring in that magic, magic, mm. or that mystical thing. We want to understand from what we all do, from what we do not want to do. Mm. So we move from the known to the, the unknown. unknown. So this is it. And also, the point or the place of what? Of intercourse also what? Counts. The place of intercourse also what? Counts. Hmm? Why, why does it count? The place. Because these days, people are having sex at the beach. People are having sex at the bathhouse, the kitchen. Uh, name it. Thank you. So what does the place, what, what role does it play? The place and time. Hmm. Thank you. Can we have this understanding? Hmm. I told you when you are, in, when you are angry, and in sex, mm-hmm. you project that what that anger thoughts. So the place, time, and circumstance it also also count. Also counts. At what time was the sex being what conducted? Conducted also counts because we are setting periods where the mind is much what relaxed. So you get to understand. I know the married people over here. Let them come to testify. You get to enjoy sex the more during what during the dawn from three to five. After sleeping, ask them. Okay, the married people. Yes. We don't marry people. We don't have any experience with the married people. Uh, hit me up on WhatsApp on 0247785986 and let me know. Mm, Lord, continue. Mm? Hmm. So, during the dawn, you tend to enjoy the sex the, the more. Most, hmm. get to what enjoy the sex what why the more let me tell one thing the mind has gone to sleep hmm? Hmm. giving off all its what all its energy of tiresomeness or all its fatigue fatigue no energy it is now refreshed hmm? Hmm. that's not taken upon itself with the creative energy so when you enter into the Sanskrit system you call the period of 3 to 5 a.m. as what at the Brahma Bhutan hour which means Brahma means what creator or creative boo physical okay. tan so the creative energy hour okay when you enter into the Vedic system there are three aspects of God which is synonymous with what the Christians took to be the Father Son and the Holy Spirit mm. or the omnipotent omnipresent omniscient mm-hmm. mm? Brahma for what for creator Vishnu for maintainer or sustainer mm. and then Shiva for what? For refiner or destroyer. Okay. Which simply means what? The law of what? Of cycles. Okay. Now, at the point of now so it's been said at the point of your intercourse mm-hmm. hmm? this is what happens as I was saying during 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. is the period of what? Of the creative energy. Mm. Where your mind is solely what? Relaxed. Even as we are going to school, we are always advised to what? To wake up early, 3 a.m. and what? And steady. Yeah. Because that is the period where the lunar influence is also what? Pronounced. Mm. And the lunar is what? Actually what? The appreciative what? Energy. The moon what? Causes what? A gravitational pull upon any fluid what? Objects. Or upon mm. any, any any energy field or essence that what, that comes at that what under its rays, so it causes what a pool. So even when you are living beside the sea, they can attest they can testify to you. Mm-hmm. During the full during the, the new moon to the full moon, the, the level of the sea actually what rises, and 
It's not the sea which only contains water. Our body also is made up of of fluid. Mm. Even plants, they are made up of of fluid. Mm The same way with what our, our mind or our brain, which is made up of what, about seventy-two percent of what of fluid, yeah. gas, gases, and water, so, liquid. If I understand you, around that time, and especially if the moon is high up in the skies, it increases your, your your bodily fluids. Increase your bodily fluids, increasing what your aura or, or, or electromagnetic what field, mm. increasing what your energy or key. Mm. Mm? Mm? Mm-hmm. At the same time, your semen being what. Being fluid uh, because your semen is actually what it's actually the, 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 the spams the, 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 your semen is actually made up of spams and what and it's charged from what from the the prostate and then other hormones mm. right or thank you which in itself is also a fluid uh, it's also increasing its what its capacity and its energy of what of the sperm cells even within the semen itself because within this semen or within these pimps are also embedded certain subtle intelligences which are minds of their own mm. Mm? that is why it is said mm? that the sperm is responsible for what for what the sperm in us is responsible for what for the spinal cord and then what the brain eh yes in, in mysticism or esoteric science or esoteric spiritual science the sperm cell is responsible for what for the spinal cord and then what the brain formation okay that's when uh, a baby is about to be formed yes and what the realm of mind is the realm of what or spirit and the, the seat of the mind is what the, the, the seat of the, of the cautious mind is what is the brain mm-hmm. so that's why it is said or it is mostly said in religion as what is the man that gives us what the soul and the woman gives what the body mm-hmm. that is, is that is that is that the reality yeah okay as like i said the woman gives the body or as the man gives what the soul because the spam is the what is the is the is the is the is the, the mode or the that, career that forms what that forms the brain and what and the spinal what cord, cord. and this uh, is what the central nervous system and that's where the soul lives thank mm. you okay man tap yourself on the shoulders <laughs> okay eh so in sex all these things are happening my brother but we we, we see it as just some one of activity but from what you are you're saying quite a number of millions of activities are happening at the same time thank you hmm. so doing the dawn is very good for what for sexual intercourse okay hmm? Hmm. so if you want very smart kids sex and childbirth should be planned mm. why because you are bringing a soul into existence mm-hmm. so you are the you are the first god to that what to that incoming soul on earth mm. the mother and what the father and the father the co-creators yes they are the first god so they are the one creating the mode in which that incarnating soul will actually will come and what oko pie So you should be what? It should be both planned. Wow. You don't just jump into it. Should mm. you even jump into it? Set yourself a time you want to go into it because anything can what can happen. Mm-hmm. This is a law of nature, which will still operate and work whether you are ignorant or knowledgeable of it, whether you are aware or unaware, mm. whether you are conscious or unconscious. It is still what operative. And infallible. Hmm. This is serious. So, how how do couples? Because I know right now you have made couples anxious. How do couples plan so that they don't come? They don't bring dumb-headed children into the universe. If you really want to give birth to smart kids, hmm. the period for giving birth to smart kids, as I told you, the Brahma Bhutan hour, the period of three to what to five a.m. 
that's physically i told you how mentally we are all stable mm-hmm. at that period of time mm-hmm. at the same time that's point number one two this high period is the period where the creative and positive energies mm-hmm. of the universe are also what's coming to take over from the destructive what energy mm-hmm. so we have 24 hours in a day right mm-hmm. each and every aspect of the day is actually under the word the dominance and control of an energy so even the Bhagavad Gita you have what the mode of what goodness the mode of passion and the mode of what ignorance which is known as what Satwa Rajas Tamas eh? mm-hmm. this triune energy or the Trinity is the same as what Brahma Vishnu Shiva or what the creative sustaining and what destructive energy so during the day the day is made up of what of 12 what hours the first hour of the day hmm? the first hour of the day listen the first four hours of the day is being controlled by what by the first energy of the day which is the creative energy i'm going to teach you two aspects of this which are all truths that's from six if you're using the hebrew system or the, the kabbalistic system from six to what to ten is being ruled by the first energy of the day hmm? mm-hmm. from 11 counting four hours 11 to 12 1 12 to 1 2 1 to 2 3 uh, well, 1 to 2 the, the third hour and then 2 to 3 the fourth hour is it's under the influence of what of the vision or the me- sustaining what energy eh? and the last four hours under what under the destructive what energy the same way for the ninth period then the first creative energy now comes into what to operate the first creative energy now comes to dominate for for the first four hours of the night which is from from 6 p.m or 6 1 p.m to 10 in the same order eh okay so that that'll be from midnight like 12 in calculating day mm-hmm. oh, okay. the, the day is the light okay and the night is the darkness yeah so counting the day from midnight is false oh okay we have day and night and day is the light and then the dark the night is what is actually the absence of what of the light oh, okay so you, you want to count the day you start counting from midnight no so okay but but according to the gregorian calendar that's why it is counted <laughs> anyway do you get it yep yeah so this creative energy hmm? these three energies are also ruling the day so we have archangels demigods in our system we will call them what Tio. we have nananum we have nananum and samanfo and we have samanfo this thing when we get to african spirituality you get to understand and nananum we have nananum and samanfo and we have what and we have in samanfo okay nananum according to african system is actually what the creative energy or the gods all inclusive into what into one yeah or the deities mm-hmm. so what we will call nananum in our current system is what the hindu will call what the demigod mm-hmm. and then the hebrew the christian the jew and then the muslim will call what archangels we are all talking about the same thing the the buddhist will actually refer to this this same energy as what as the bodhisattva mm-hmm. we are all talking about the same thing it's just nomenclature just changing what in name yeah from different culture and different languages different culture different languages but the same thing which is being spoken about so according to the the kabbalah each and every day is ruled by what by what an archangel right mm-hmm. and these archangels are, are also working in what in triune manifestation of the of the creative the sustaining one and the destructive what energy eh mm-hmm. so we always say monday is being ruled by what is being ruled by gabriel but gabriel not only rule monday he has other two counterparts ruling with him which also follows the same pattern of what of four 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 what hours hours and during the whole day two of 24 hours we also have the what we also have the what the zodiacal signs also ruling each and every hour mm-hmm. within the 24 hour day in their what in their successive what order mm-hmm. i'm getting more technical eh? yes seriously <laughs> seriously and 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 it looks like um, the main 
topic is just lying somewhere. <laughs> so I, I want us to go uh, uh, on to that, then I'll start reading some of the messages. Mm. So, the creative energy period is actually on the 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Okay. Which is also the period where there was the archangel ruling what the last hour of what of the night rules three to four so any archangel that will be ruling each and every day that will be the last period or the final stages of his war is rule it rules four times so during that period it actually is it's actually getting to its end where it will actually hand over to the next cycle hmm. or to the next years of the next day hmm. eh during that period it's very good for what sex sex Okay. Point number three, during the intercourse, the thoughts which is being projected through the intercourse also forms a part of actually what getting the type of child you want. Hmm. As you are in the intercourse, or it was in the process of actually what, having your sex, projecting your thoughts on what you want, the type of child you want to see, the type of baby you want to come out, the type of potentialities, hmm. abilities, talents. You want that child to possess. So this should be a conscious effort. Effort. By both of you. By both of you. Wow. I'm talking of how to even give birth. Sex magic is about retaining this without even ejaculating. Okay. But not but we are doing the normal one of ejaculating every day. That's I'm mm-hmm. teaching the ejaculation aspect before coming to teach of how to even avoid ejaculation. Okay. And orgasm. Hey. Sh- <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, let's go. So this is it. So, in the sex, mm-hmm. Mm? Mm-hmm. the thought which is being projected of the mother and what? The father. And the father also determines the consciousness. And the thought, the thought consciousness of that soul which should be attracted into that body. Mm. Are you listening? I'm listening. The consciousness of that soul which will be attracted into, into that body. Mm-hmm. I first told you the man is the yin, the woman is the yang, mm-hmm. mm? yeah. which is the two creative energies yeah. the positive and the negative. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. And these energies, when the woman and the man comes together, there's a creation of, of a neutral atmosphere of electromagnetic what? force and energy. Mm-hmm. Elect- electro, electricity, magnetic, attracts and what? And repels. Hmm? In relation to what thought force at the point of what intercourse. Yeah. So as the intercourse is ongoing, whatever is being projected through the realm of mind as thoughts also carries the energy or whatever or whatever energy has been created between the two of you. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. To actually project into the earth, into the cosmos, and attract to itself a result identical to whatever has been projected. So, whatever you are thinking will determine the thought consciousness of that soul. That will come into the earth. That will come into the earth. So, if it's all about anger, anger, mm-hmm. that incoming or incarnating soul will be that will, will, the, 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 the thought projection and the activity, which is trying to what the activity of the activity of actually the vital life force which is being projected together with the essence which is being released, the fluid from the woman and then the man coming together to form a life will not be impregnated with the thought consciousness and also as you're also projecting that thought consciousness of what of anger you're also going to attract a soul a spirit with the thought form of what of anger, anger embedded within it into what the child into that very what child hmm. this is deep so 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 then this this actually makes sense to extend by those who say that we are the create we are the creators because if the child you are going to give birth to is not going to come just on its own like uh, uh, through a vacuum or nothingness like if we don't have any road because all this what well, that's the idea we have oh it's god who give us the child and everything so me let me go and do my sex and go my my somewhere but it looks like it's not like that. The way you mold it, that's how it will come. 
said that Ura, when you were doing Mama and Dada, <laughs> did you know <laughs> any terms? Is you Master, please. <laughs> This is interesting. <laughs> Bihaj, you used to do a lot of mama and dada, eh? <laughs> I mean, my favorite part was oh, mama and <laughs> meka. And uh, Manasse Guma says that how can uh, you tap into others' good energy? They yeah, will answer that as well. And uh, Kweku of Fosu says very educative. Yes, it's very educative indeed. And uh, let me say a um, special greeting going out to you, Mr. Patrick. You are listening to us all the way from London. And also to you, Madam Midwife. This one at the background goes out to you. Lord, let's continue from how can you tap into others' good energy during sex? Let's start with uh, Manasseh's question. Yeah. During sexual intercourse, do you tap? You're actually both. You, both of you are actually tapping mm. into the energy that both of you have actually what generated. Okay. During the intercourse, because mm. it's both of you what involved. Mm. Mm? Mm-hmm. It is the both of you what involved in the activity. So it's actually the both of you what involved in what the activity in the outcome. Okay. Or whatever energy is what is generated. Or produced. Or produced. Hmm? Hmm. But it is said, let me use this common quote. Mm. A kiss is best enjoyed when shared. Okay. When you're kissing the person is not involved in it, do you feel all right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. When both of you are actually into what you are doing, mm. you can generate the greatest energy. Energy. All the, the same. And they share. And then all the same, should one be not should, should one be unaware, and the other being aware can still tap into energy. But in so doing, you're rather drawing the energy of the person, mm. diminishing, deteriorating that person's what energy. Mm. And most of these pastors and others are actually into this sex energy. Wow. That's why they usually, when they find these women, they'll be sleeping with them anyhow. That's why they do sleep with them. You go to them for consultations after they have to sleep with you because they need to. They are actually tapping into your own energy field to solve your own problem. Wow. So they'll tell you, focus on, on, on your problem. I hear ye. I, th- I think we, we do see, I saw this one video where he, as the intercourse was ongoing, he was telling the lady to keep repeating her desires. Wow. As he was still ongoing. Wow. So as the energy being generated, he is now what inducing the lady to mm-hmm. actually think in conformity to what? With her desires. That's projecting such what? Energy. Mm. Do you get it? Yes. Because uh, somebody told me, actually, somebody told me that if you have something that is so bothering you on your mind and all of that, you can use such energy to find a solution to it. Yeah. But that one, you're saying that you'll be diminish- diminishing the other person's energy. That's what I'm telling you. Mm. Should the person be ignorant of whatever is happening? Oh, okay. You are rather tapping into her energy field. Mm. 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 So rather you be drawing that person's what energy. Mm-hmm. I told you, energy flows. It's like osmosis. Flows from what from a, a place of what higher concentration to a place of what lower concentration. concentration. Mm. Eh? This is how energy flows. So should during an intercourse. Should you be stronger than the person also who is actually involved in the activity? That person can also what, draw from you if the person is conscious of the activity. Mm. That is why I'm baby bringing out spiritual men being so yeah, then a bohono or then a homo or chinapo when you might see when I saw you not name and I then I a basa. That means they are rather what tapping into your energy field, sucking your energy field, taking your energy field from you. Hmm. So, which means we need to be careful. Yeah. So, I told you first the consciousness of the person, the time, place, the circumstance, the consciousness of the person, the, the, the person's what involved also forms a part of the activity itself. Mm. 
They say my volume is very low, so please increase it for me. Really? Okay, I think it's, it's, it's the same. I think maybe you are not speaking to your microphone. Mm. So let's continue. Still on the energy. Thank you. So now how do we tap into our energy fields for what a particular purpose? You're in we, are sex. Not, we are now going to the sex magic itself. The magic aspect of what? Of sex. Mm. We have three aspects of sex magic. Hmm? Mm. Should you go into the better system? We have a book or a text on this very sex magic known as what the Kama Sutra. Mm. Kama meaning what? Desire. Okay. Emotion. Mm. Sutra meaning what? Test. Mm -hmm. So you have three types of thoughts of sex magic. We have the Brahman sex, we have the Vishnu sex, and we have what? We have what? The Shiva what? Sex, which is known as what? As Tantra okay. or actions. Okay. Mm? Mm -hmm. Tantra simply means what? Bodily what? Actions. Bodily what? Actions. Yeah. Mm? Mm -hmm. So how do you employ sex magic? We can employ the normal one, which I actually told you. You involved in the sex, we are thought projected. Let's think about something, or let's get you understand this. Mm. I told you your spinal cord is made up of what? In within your spinal cord is made up of what? Of cerebrospinal what? Fluid, mm. which flows from what? From your brain. Mm? Mm -hmm. To the base of what? Of your spine. Yep. Where lies what? The Kundalini. Eh? Where the Kundalini is? The Kundalini is actually the sex energy. Okay. Mm? One one manifestation, one aspect of its manifestation is that kind of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like whenever you are in the mood. Yeah. Like you can't you can't you can't relax. Uh, uh, Automatically your waist begins to move or your body. Exactly. Uh, this this lawyer one lawyer said that <laughs> if you mourn anyone who mourns needs to be arrested <laughs> during sex. <laughs> mm? Mm, yep. So Today we are doing practical things mm. you get to realize that our women in general when they dance with you so much when you're actually behind her mm -hmm. rapping or dancing as you actually what caressing or rubbing the kundalini mm -hmm. you gotta realize that now everybody will be not afraid of, or, or, or not or you know, to say anything, mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. that is the same thing the dog does that's why women are called bitches excuse me to say it is very sinful and erroneous to call a what? woman, woman bitch but when a dog is on heat what does it do you just you see it what wagging what it's what tail tail attracting the men or the, the male to it mm -hmm. the same thing it's just the thoughts and the projection of what of electrical circuits with or, or the uh, manifestation of what? electrical circuits within our own what body, body which is causing what a hormonal what discharge mm -hmm. which is making you feel that way mm. so it's magical. you see the woman was doing this so even in those due, of you listening you are, you are missing that i said of lord <laughs> so even even in sex itself you get to realize that when the woman is trying to seduce the man to make him feel fall in love more with the activity mm -hmm. you see her doing her waist some way just to actually seduce get, him to actually get your attention thank you it's natural or turn you on thank you mm. eh yep that is it so these are all hormonal and what electrical what discharges within our own bodies which mm -hmm. is causing that so this is what happens in sexual magic you don't release your semen or your life essence yes because in within the essence lies yeah, the essence is the mode in which the life force what dwells mm -hmm. it's like a battery a rechargeable battery the a lithium ion battery so yeah. the lithium ion is the what is what makes it possible for energy to what to be stored in what in that very what created what objects mm -hmm. right thank you so within our own body too eh yeah the essence in us which is the fluid the blood the semen mm? Mm -hmm. mm? the the uteral discharge or whatever when your orgasm when you're you know instead of orgasm that that fluid that will uh, discharge from your from your uterine walls or from the walls of, of the vajay hmm. these discharges are all what fluids which carries these life forces and you're saying if we want to tap into the magic we shouldn't release them thank you somebody asks why how can it be on and it's not in have you seen 
this way for you to understand this you, after this you get to understand why certain certain rituals sometimes we prescribe or it is prescribed after sex wipe with your handkerchief wipe the sexual wipe, wipe the sexual organ of what of that very person what with your handkerchief and then bring it because that energy is embedded within it mm. eh? okay whether that of the woman or that of the man or whether the, what that of the man's pain mm, that's why when, when you watch the movies the narcotic movies thank you mm. because within it has been generated an immense psychic what energy wow due to what the intercourse between the two mm. eh mm. so when you avoid when you avoid when you avoid the discharge this is what happens and how do you even avoid prevent the discharge because the point is you are trying to what you are trying to resend this fluid back into yourself back into what your brain wow to energize yourself eh mm-hmm. the cerebral spinal spilled uh, the, the cerebral okay so uh, i'm coming home two people are having sex but they are conscious that this sex we are not going to release any food from each other is that so two people are going to have sex yeah but they they, they are conscious about it to the extent that they know this sex we are not going to release any yeah food from each other yeah uh, how, that's that's kind of madness what is it done whenever you're reaching there what the point of orgasm mm-hmm. you stop you stop and then you close your eyes and reward and re-visualize channeling the, what the energy back into your own body so someone will ask do you have that feeling that you get during you what you see mm-hmm. does orgasm just happen no no, no it builds itself up yes so you feel it what developing mm-hmm. it's just like a force in a bottle mm. so you're piling up the water into it a time will come you say that the, the, it will not be pressing against the walls of the bottle Try right to burst and as as it gets the, as the force the internal force against what the external force becomes greater it what it breaks what that very what container mm-hmm. the same way with what with orgasm okay so it builds up it builds up until it, it holds no more than what it explodes okay eh? and this is what you are saying that if you want to tap into it just yes. prevent and this energy this this discharge this very moment carries the greatest energy during the sexual intercourse okay so when you're actually en- nearing this very point of explosion mm-hmm. of this key and what engine mm-hmm. or the life the vital life force and what in the essence within you what do you need to do restrain this energy and then put it back into you at the same time visualizing on your desire mm. to what in your thoughts whether in, in an imagery form or affirmation what you want to achieve now sending this energy back into yourself so in in science we call this called a uh, coitus conservatus <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. let's go on we call this coitus conservatus okay hmm? I saw a coin was not by it. <laughs> yes so this is what happens okay this uh, this this all should also be coordinated with what with your own breath okay I told you mm. I always talk about our breath and breath yeah because our breath influences the way we think when you're, when you're angry your breathing changes mm. when you're in a state of orgasm your, your breathing change whatever you do your breathing what pattern what changes changes so you both what resent or what take the this energy. energy invest it back into your own being or body with your mind focus upon your desire mm. whatever the desire will be mm. do you get it yeah so not releasing but keeping it inside you and the more you master you can do it as, as the number of times you want and the greater the law of repetition the number of times you do masterfully as you prefer this at the greater your what your thought force and what you can be projected hmm. through your thoughts to actually achieve your aims so um the question is with this should it also be consensual or mutual yeah that the the, the woman knows this is what you you want to do and it's better when okay. it's mutual sometimes it's one-sided okay but but this one or the, the smallest vertebrae yeah. through your spinal cord into what back into what into the brain mm. and at every point in time it is what it will be re-energizing each and every what chakra and organ of your body 
because every organ is connected through the nerves to the, the spinal cord and to the brain so it will be re-energizing each and every organ or gland within your body or chakra within your body until it gets to what the brain hmm? okay. to the point of what of the crown chakra the crown chakra is actually simply what the pituitary what gland okay which is also known as what the lunar chakra and this co- co- coordinates and controls all the other words glands within what our human body according to the occidental school of thought or science okay so we energizing and listen sending this energy back into where what it belong hmm? so as you do this you're expanding your thought consciousness open up certain aspects of your own mind's ability which you are unconscious of which will be referred to as the psychic abilities okay grow your own spiritual self bringing what enlightenment to yourself so with this we call it what ojas shakti ojas ojas what shakti which is what the sex energy when it's actually what, driven up instead of coming out or coming I- 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 um um outside yeah hmm. so um so now how do you retain this sex how do you how do you perform this retention of of the sex energy yes one is that you pull out that's you all withdraw from each other mm. two you wrap the place called, known as what the perineum or the perianal spot the perianal spot is actually what that connecting link between the anus mm-hmm. and then what your genital two and say sebi oshua and answer sebi obano and it will true move baby out sebi wajan and fano one say Ahumatia be at the end of the whole, I can joint be the whole mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. There's that very space between your genital and then your anus mm-hmm. is what we call the periana or the peri, uh, the perineum spots. Mm. So you begin to wrap that very what that very spot when you're able to do and do it correctly, mm, you will send this energy back into you. But if you're unable to do it correctly, it, instead of the urethra, because the urethra compresses. Eh? Mm. The ultra is actually what it's like a band. Yeah. Eh? Do you get it? Yeah. When it compresses, it pushes the sperm out through what? Into the woman. Into, into your, uh, the, uh, the sperm duct or into in, um, outwardly into the woman mm-hmm. with the force. Yeah. Which actually becomes a propelling force, which also pushes the sperms to swim into the woman. Mm? Mm-hmm. If you if with this exercise if you, if you're not a master of it you can rather instead of the sperm to come out it's rather what it's rather what it's rather end up into what into your ladder or you really what bladder wow and that, that that can be quite dangerous yeah lights out it looks like uh, uh, uh proper dimension people have videos <laughs> Take, have taken over but, but let's talk um online people uh, uh can hear us even facebook people can hear us just that they, they, they can see as well yeah let's go i think they are changing um to the gent soon okay so let me take this uh, opportunity to read the second batch of some messages here you know okay so those of you watching live on facebook you see the reality of (laughs) pds pds (laughs) proper doom so okay and um okay it's back uh let me start from here where 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 where
actually what lord is saying is true i like doing that part i normally don't want to uh, release but keep it back wow i love that but to some of us this is this is like calculus <laughs> Lord, you see, sometimes off air you tell me that you want Ghanaians to learn all the things that you know and practice them instead of they coming to you to for you to do for them. But I see some of us these things it may be so a lot, so which way am I? <laughs> if you can do it for us <laughs> This is interesting anyway. <laughs> All right, look. Let, let's continue. Let's continue right here. So now we, we've come, we've come to know one way of um, taking advantage of this sex energy. Yeah. And I know the what you have before we be Lord, we know which way I'm going now. To be honest, I was in Bano. Uh huh. In Bano, Kaseni. Yes. Okay. Bema, I go for a draw. Tio. Mhm. When a man takes an aphrodisiac. Okay. In order to actually last longer in what in bed mm-hmm. they have a trick that they use okay as the man is actually long gone, even the prostitutes i think i have some i have some i've have, I have had certain uh, consultation with certain prostitutes prostitutes they mm-hmm. call them runs girls let me use let me polish it for them as they want it to be mm-hmm. they'll tell you that this is what they do as they're having an intercourse they'll just be wrapping their fingers mm-hmm. in between this very position between your scrotum mm-hmm. and what and then your testicles your anus. Oh, your anus, okay. They'll just be rubbing there. Mm. And I tell you, within the shortest time, this man will just. It doesn't matter uh, what, what aphrodisiac you've taken. Ah, master. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Because they know. So he she's rubbing in what? In an anti clockwise what? Direction, not clockwise. Mm. Clockwise, you're locking. Anti clockwise, you're actually locking. opening. You're opening. And to clockwise direction. So Ghana Water Company <laughs> take <it> place. <laughs> okay. Mm. So that that is one 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 way. Yes. Let's go to the That's second one. Rubbing the, the, the periana or the mm. perineum to send the semi what back into you. Mm-hmm. Mm? That's retaining it what within you. Okay. And this should be all mastered. Mm. Mm? Okay. Otherwise, it's rather what end up what in, in your, your bladder, bladder. your urinary your bladder. That's the sac which yeah. stores the urine. The urine. I can, and that can be dangerous. Not that dangerous that much. <laughs> That's why sometimes after sex, in such a, you, you realize that now your are spent even 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 during normal intercourse, it can even what happen. Sometimes it do happen. After the sex, you realize that after you, you want you want to urinate, but going to urinate, you realize that you after urination. Um, the, the certain uh, certain aspect of the human have become very slippery. Mm-hmm. The same, the, the semen that found itself what into your bladder. Oh, okay. Hmm. I know that's the idea now. Could you say the move by a mal and funny say? Well, I was soon to be the way. Could you say the move by the dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Let's move on uh, to the second one. Mm-hmm. Yes. As you do this, mm. Mm, mm. as you do this, as you are retaining this energy within you, you're also coordinating this life force, visualizing that you're moving this breath flow together with this life force because life force there is the breath flow that 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 propels this life force around you. That's why in pranayama or breathing exercise, you are told to circulate the air within you. Hmm? Mm. And is the air also necessary for circulation of blood? Yes. Yes. Eh? Mm-hmm. You are taught how to what, circulate this breath flow within you. Within you. Not to even what distribute this prana or life force. What? To every cell within what? Your yes, body. Your body. So by retaining yourself the same way with the woman, mm-hmm. when she's about to orgasm, she what she withdraws and then focuses on whatever visualize the heart desires are. The heart desires are focus, challenge this energy 
from the kunda into what into her mm-hmm. vibrating this energy around the body this very energy is known to what to revitalize every organ mm. and cell within the body mm. yes so if you really want to live long this is also one aspect of actually what generating a longer life through what uh, generating what um uh, um longevity okay through what through um health or good health of the cells has it, this got to do with this method we see in movies where goddesses who in the movie are, are said to have lived for a thousand years all that they do is to feed on sex energy from young people they, they have sex with young people has this got to do with that do they re- that is it hmm. yeah yeah then why is it that they don't have sex with anybody but young people that that brings me to the topic or that the, the, the point of that been raising afterwards okay let me tell you one thing puberty for the woman or for the girl start from somewhere 12 13. Mm-hmm. that's the, the now, first now with gmos it can start around nine nine <laughs> that's the first day of menstruation mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and that's i taught you how menstruation happens deviation of the of, of the lady from the normal breath flow i told you from the, from first day of birth to a day before menstruation with the breath flow the right nostril is what is the positive for the female f- the feminine or the female yeah, yeah. the left is the, what, is the negative pole yeah eh? yeah and also from a day after menopause the right nostril is what is the positive word pole and the left nostril is what is the, ne- is the negative word pole mm. eh? the same way from the very day of menstruation to the very day of what a day a day before uh, menopause this is what happens there's a deviation so on the very first day of puberty there's a deviation or there's a change in the breath flow now the right nostril of the female from the day of first menstruation to a day before menopause the right nostril now becomes the negative okay and the right no, uh, um the left the, the, the left, left rather becomes nostril. the positive words po po for for a woman in her menstruation in, in, in her menstruation or the, the fetal the fetal woman yeah Eh? Yeah. So during this period, mm, mm-hmm. you ask about why younger people. Yeah, for for the goddess. Thank you. During this period, during this period, eh, the energy build up of these very young people are very high. Mm-hmm. Mm? Why? Because for that of the boy, mm-hmm. this is the age which is very which is very positive for them. From the age of twenty one to 24 they have the strongest sperm cells if actually they don't actually begin to ejaculate at earlier stages mm. when do men begin to develop these very qualities from the age of 13 to the age of 14 right yeah that would be seven years so the age of 21 will be what will be seven what years should he or she see uh, sh- should he start a cycle from the age of what um uh, um, uh, um 13 that would be the age of what 20 so the seven the seventh year after the f- w- w- the first the first time he actually begins to experience these changes mm? mm. is a very fertile period of his life and during that period he is now what he is now recomposing into his newer self because our body changes every what seven every years. seven years so you're not of the same body as you were seven years what ago Mm. so every seven years your body becomes a new it is what it is reborn after every seven, seven years, years. You, your body become, becomes completely what a new you have new set of cells total totally new set of cells so in the previous seven years you all the one cells are, are gone you are, you are now what with a new set of cells every what seven years so that of the woman is from the period of what 18 Mm? Mm. to 21 and that's what the man for the period of what 21 to 24 and should a woman a lady or a guy be able to abstain mm? or practice what abstinence mm-hmm. from sex mm? brahmachari mm-hmm. till this very age they mature with this life force this sex energy within them yes mm, then uh, sapon sapon big shout out to you a friend of mine that I had my natural service with uh, the Minister of Energy, I think over the weekend had his wedding, and he, he was bragging on Facebook how 
he, he abstained. Both of them abstained from sex, and he's saying that your your your, your pizza is sweeter. When when some something, yeah, he was talking about abstinence, and now he's married. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, so now uh, go to the second point that you were talking about. Yeah. Hmm. So why does the goddesses are taking younger men or guys is because that is the period where their life forces are stronger stronger mm. and they have actually been able to abstain and that very what period mm. Mm? and i want to go to other aspects where the menstrual cycle other aspects are when i go there you get to understand why the arabians are more inclined to, towards what marrying what younger what girls mm. it's just for a spiritual something 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 okay I'm not here to condone that act, so I wouldn't okay. go to teach it for people to actually have a ticket mm. to be doing such things. Okay. Mm? Okay. So that's why they go for the younger one because that is when their the life, life forces, forces are stronger and their life essence within them are what are stronger. They've been able to keep them and what and retain them within them. So even for for the feminine, it is always advisable after abstaining. Mm? Mm-hmm. Perform, uh, observing celibacy until the age of 18 to 21 it's advised that she needs to undergo seven different listen seven different words men, uh, uh, menses at least six to eight what menses should come before what first first, first pregnancy sex. oh okay okay why are they using the six seven eight because they are actually trying to employ the laws of what nature. Nature, okay. If you don't do that, what happens? We are looking for stronger babies. Oh, okay. Uh, so you get to understand why some of us. So are okay, let me let me repeat it here. So if you are looking for a stronger baby, and you you've been able to abstain from sex for about up to eighteen to twenty years. Yeah. When you start making sex, make sure you you Not have eighteen to twenty years. Okay. But. After puberty, you've been able to be, well, abstain or observe celibacy until your 18th year. 18th year, so okay. 21st year. 21st year, yes. okay. So then from there, you should you should make sure you have your menses for about six, seven times, times before six you to conceive. Six eight times before, eight, before you conceive. Before your first pregnancy. Pregnancy, okay. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's go on. So you get to understand why mm. the goddesses in those movies are always going for the young guys, okay. the young guys, because they yeah. are the ones full of what energy and life and life. Mm. So now during the sex, as you are actually retaining your sexual whatever, I first talk, talk, talked about what retaining the the semen, the semen or the fluid discharge, yeah. retaining within you. That's at the point of orgasm, mm, don't, 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 release, or don't attain orgasm. Mm. When orgasm is drawing closer, you're trying to actually what suppress it and what, and then what, um, re what, re, re ingest it into you. Into you, okay. Second, your own thoughts. Okay. At the point of what of sex. Okay. Mm? Mm-hmm. Third, your sexual position. Eish. This is sexual position we are near the here. Oh, sexual position. Ah, a bit more, a bit, ah, when you go to India, we have temples built. We have temples built and decorated with these sexual positions. And and even in Europe, the Roman Catholic cathedrals. Yeah. You see them there. Yeah, they are there. When you go into Taoism, or that's uh, Taoism, mm-hmm. we have a whole book written on sexual magic. Position. Whoa. When you go into Hinduism, we have the Kama Sutra, written for sexual. Are there some in the Bible? Are there some in the Bible? Mm. Not in our Bible, but in the Kabbalah, you find you find sexual magic over the sex magic over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. In the okay. in the Kemetic system, there's also sex magic words over, over there. there. Okay. So your thoughts, the kind of thoughts you you are having during sex. Yeah. With that one, is it necessary for you to retain your semen, or you can release? I, I treated that when you are trying to actually what conceive okay or trying to actually what have an issue oh, okay that was when i made that mention okay so when, when you want to have babies the same thing also comes here because mm-hmm. at the point of retaining or abstaining from orgasm mm-hmm. or suppressing orgasm you mm-hmm. still need to what, project your thoughts your thoughts towards in relation it. to that energy mm. to be better that is why even after sex mm? mm-hmm. 
although you dream very well, but you also become dull. Okay. Mm? After sex, you dream very well. You also become what dull. But la la kama sa njume di oya danu wa hine ba u kofu so muti wa hine ba wunti mini di na ma njue ma njue adi we okay odi atua so continue. Mm? Thank you. So that's one aspect. Your sexual position also counts. Okay. You see, I told you sexual positions are in themselves for communications. Okay, so just give us one example of sexual position and how missionary. Okay. You lie down and on lie top on top. Of mm-hmm. And that one, nah, I think. You're on top of her, mm-hmm. or she's on top of you. Mm-hmm. You're on top of her. Thank you. This is what happens during such. Mm-hmm. You're both lying with your chakras coordinated, your chakra centers coordinated towards each other. Mm-hmm. Mm? Yeah. Mm? Yes. So look at the energy gener- generation. So even in science, I know there was a midwife over here. Mm-hmm. If you really want to procreate or you have difficulty in what? Procreating the baby. Mm-hmm. They always advise you to actually what? Use the what? The missionary what? Style. Okay. That's what can attain what? The, what, the fastest pace of what? Pregnancy. Oh, okay. Then, sad dog guinea. 316 as a four. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. So there are so many positions. They are about... Currently, you know one thing? There are, there are over 245 sex positions. Eish. 245 sex positions. positions. 2 plus 4 plus 5, 2 plus 4, 6 plus 5, 11. The number 2. The number of what? Interdependence. Interdependence. Thank you. Wow. Mm-hmm. Which one uh, finally now? We have a message to Hana. <clears throat> and then, what do you see a uh, forward baby, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, It's one aspect to it. <laughs> what you do before the sexual encounter. Okay. So it's advisable if you really want spiritual benefit. From sex. Be involved in a spiritual activity before the sexual activity. For example? Maybe meditation. Okay. Or mantra recital. Okay. Puja for your deity. If okay. you're a Hindu. You have your deities, you perform puja, alti, and then you perform your japa, uh, japa, japa recital. Which if you're is, a Christian. If you're a Christian, you, you, you pray before you, you, you go to bed. People think prayer doesn't work. It's just funny. Prayer is just a tuning of thoughts. Okay. So, I uh, no, no, no. I don't know. Like, for example. <laughs> funny thoughts. Coming through my mind right now, so I had a very idea. No, MTF word, but we are saying now we know. No. <laughs> anyway, I need a sleep, big a crack. We are sick, a crack. Need an hour, the east stress, and be a good. So, um, you said before the sex, you can perform. Uh, some spiritual, spiritual activity. activities okay. before sex. Yeah. Okay. If we're traditionalists, you need to pour libation. Mm. Why? Because doing so, do, doing that, you are tuning your thoughts, your soul, mind, and body mm. Mm? Okay. towards the activity. In, perf- you know, in a, what? In, in what? In getting what? In getting yourself involved in what? In a spiritual activity, you're also drawing the higher energies closer to you. So if there are certain spirits you you're actually what inclined towards, you attract them before. Mm. Do you get it? Mm. So maybe after the altar, you are, you attract the higher energies. So after the higher energies, then you you declare desires. So now during the encounter, this praise will all be what will all be available mm. to witness whatever activity is being done, mm. and to also guide the incoming soul and the type of soul that we really actually what need mm. into what into the body. Okay. What, what is a demon? In symbol and demon is any spirit that opposes one's objective. Okay. In order to not attract any demon which will be against your desire for whatever activity you are doing. Mm. Do you get it? Yeah. So for them to be also there to observe. Or whether whether you like it or yes, doing sex, they are spirits observing. Even your own souls are observing your own selves. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Kweku Fosu says Bome Santumu. Okay, me, me, I don't I don't understand what you are talking about anyway. And uh Costix the <laughs> Forentino says, Yes, I dream a lot and see a lot stuff yeah. in my dream, even uh, those even uh, those so called prophets. I say Bomi Asendium. Bomi Asendium, oh, okay, okay. Okay, you're talking about the, uh, the position. And the mommy and Pafo says that today be today. Adam and Eve position or oh, missionary. She says that, please, uh, example of sex prayer. Uh-huh. Lord. The Ghana for the air pay. Why am I? I'm going to say, why are you going to be Lord? So, you now say, a man spam's name, man. Why am I? Why am I? Whatever cast of what the guy, uh, I ask a calculus we want to reach me. So, my man, Pafu, uh, I'll let Lord and answer that one, though he has said other ones. Okay, I could go for such a rade, ma, ma, me, a hoarding, na me, me, ma, na, ma, ma, me, 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 Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my Papa, I, I think Kwe Kufosu has given you one sex prayer. <laughs> this is interesting. And um, this one, uh, Nsiaba Nana Kwesi um, Kobe says that, please, I haven't found favor with you. Kindly let Lord <laughs> decode the data uh, for me. Uh, okay, I will do that. Is it, is it um, April 9th? 1982 or um 4th september 1982 let me know you write them in figures like that it's quite confusing i can't know what you want to do okay so um mommy say a example of prayer before sex mommy mommy might have been a prayer Christian. prayer is simply communication between man mm, and, and his object of worship or the universal omnipresence which okay. is the energy of the universe or the cosmos mm. Mm. so be affirmative you know what you want you know the type of what whatever the type of soul you want to attract mm. onto yourself so speak it okay in this very encounter i need a soul who have these qualities qualities mm. qualities mm. qualities qualities okay have that affirmation mm. do that if you have any guardian entity or any um Ishta, which is your personal spirit mm. you just mention the name or invoke that energy mm. and tell it to do what you are expecting to achieve. Okay. And they will actually attract such soul onto you. Okay. 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 Mm. There are certain principles to also be followed. Mm. After every sexual encounter, mm -hmm. there should be purification before sex and purification after, after sex. sex. Which are listen, we are mm -hmm. talking about sex magic over here. Okay. There's purification before sex and purification what? After, after sex. Sex. Okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So after sex, what can you do? After sex. Go to bath. Wash down with salt water. Okay. Salt solution. Without soap, need that water. Without towel. Don't towel down. Mm. Wait for yourself to what? To dry. To dry. Okay. Wait for yourself to what? To dry up naturally. Air dry. Mm. That's after every sexual encounter. Before any sexual encounter, mm -hmm. do the same thing. Before any sexual encounter, you should bath with salt water. Yeah, that's the simplest one we can be taught. Okay. Other ones are just getting yourself nyanya. Yeah. Nyanya with inkeswa. That's a local egg, mm. a fertilized egg. I'm not talking about these industrial eggs. Okay. Or these boilers mm. and, and these layers. Yeah. I'm talking about what? a fertilized egg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The local the chicken home egg and, or the, okay. the, 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 the local um, the local cock and hen, yeah. which are totally copulated. Yeah. Get that egg, get yourself nyanya, mold it one into a pad. Mm -hmm. Place it, egg, this egg upon it, fetch your water upon it. Mm -hmm. Then read Psalm 51 three times over it. Psalms 51 three times over it. Declare desires over it. Before, wash before the sex. Yes. Mm. Wash down with it. Mm. Eh? I said what? Wash, Wash down, down with it. With it. Hmm? That one too, you don't dry yourself? No, you don't, okay. you don't need to towel down. Wait okay. for yourself to dry. Okay. Afterwards, the same thing again. With water in it, you wash down with it again. Then you take it to a rubbish dump. Hmm? And throw it there. And throw it there. 
Hmm. Okay. Let me see if this date of birth is in. Then I uh, will work on that. <clears throat> do it the way we see it. It is. Oh, okay. It is 04 slash 09 1982. So I. Uh, which which is which? I'm thinking it is 4th September 1982. 0409 1982. Yes. I only use the day. Okay. To save us time. 0409 1982. So 04. That's Uranus. Okay. okay. One thing about this people is that they are very emotional. Mm. They are more attracted towards the well being of others. And with their last penny, they will always like to spend it on people to see them happy. Okay. One thing about these people that you need to realize is that they always go contrary to what people think. I call them anti thinkers. They always <laughs> want to oppose the majority. Okay. Whatever the majority thinks. So, indirectly, they are like more critical thinkers who want to always criticize anything around them. Mm. So, in any form of argument, discussion, they always want to take the unusual directions or the unusual positions and argue. Mm. Due to that, they are, they, they've made what secret what enemies. One thing about them is mostly, these are the kind of people mostly with business. With their with business, mm -hmm. they are unsuccessful business wise. Okay. Their success usually comes when they are actually underworking with somebody. Underworking somebody. Mm -hmm. So these people mostly find themselves in the field of what? Being law clerks, being nurses, being welfare specialists, or whatever work that deals directly with work with people. Mm -hmm. Counseling. They get, they get counseling, yeah. any form of that, that does what directly with what with people. This is the kind of people who are watch lot mm. in this very field. They're not successful business wise. Okay. They're not successful business wise. But if they work with people, yes, they get their success. Yes. Uh, and that yeah. one thing about them is they don't book interference. These are the kind of people too, in relationships, they're very respectful. But every day they decide I'm moving out. My brother, that's all. They can laugh foolishly to an extent. Can even spend a fortune on you just to retain them, maintain you. But the very day they make a decision to move, because they have a, they have a cheerful heart, which is ready to. They've exhausted all, all uh, available uh, means to maintain this relationship. Okay, cause ticks. The Farantino says that, oh Lord, please give us one prayer from the Christian perspective. Why? One prayer from the Christians who are perfect uh, perspective. Yes, who are the, those prayers uh, before and after sex. Every prayer is prayer. Just add the name of your deity mm. in addition to it. Mm. So if it is Jesus, you add, you add it. Uh, Jesus, Yeshua, you add it. Jesus is soon. I want to focus. We are saying it's not about Jesus. We are more about to know. And it's not upon actors in every world. Okay, he uh, says that. Oh wow! Saw so solution before and after. I got that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And he says that. And you never told me you are a bad friend, pa. <laughs> uh, who is that now? This is uh, Caustics the Frontino. Okay, so thank you very much for you for being here for us to learn together. I, I I guess we've exhausted this topic, Lord, haven't we? We have. Yes. So now that we've spoken about sex energy, so now we've spoken about sex energy mm. and childbirth. Mm. Now the next point will be what? Reincarnation. Okay. Because now if you are doing this to bring in a soul, you know the consequences. How, when does the soul enter the body mm -hmm. of the of the fetus in the womb? Mm. When does it take form? What affect its um its teacher, mm -hmm. whatever it is, what, what does affect it when it comes to life? What that, what does affect its experiences? Mm -hmm. So let's go into what into reincarnation. Okay, okay. I think this this will set a, a, a fatal tone and foundation for that topic. Thank you. Yes. Let me show appreciation to each and everyone who did the listening and who did the watching this evening. I appreciate you a lot, and especially to my new listeners and viewers. Okay, Lord. Any announcement? Oh, okay. Thanks to everybody doing the listening who have been with us um, since day one and still with us. Thank you all. Okay, so if you really want to, you can go to my Facebook page and then like my page. That's Spiritual Science Society. Hmm. Spiritual Science Society. 
can go there and like, like my page. Also, Lord Akam Rebakam, like that page, and also Truth Seekers, Truth Seekers, and also like that page. If you really want to join the group on Facebook, the group's name you can search for the Spiritual Scientist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are, is it is it blocky indented? They are all in capital letters. Okay. The Spiritual Scientists. Yeah. Search for that group, and then you join. You join us in that group. But you can also like my page on YouTube. Yeah. You subscribe to the you YouTube channel. You subscribe to, uh, to my YouTube channel. Yeah. That's Lord Akam. Lord Akam. Lord is L O R D. Akam is A C K K H A M. Lord Akam. If you really want to call me too for one on one consultation to get a deeper readings. Readings on numerology, astrology, palmistry, and then geomancy. You can also call me on 0241 85 Also, 0556 855-334 thank you all thank you all the movement is also ongoing the spiritual scientists whoever might want to join we are ongoing okay. shall I join the spiritual scientists we'll be all, along the line we have plans to be organizing yoga classes exercises we have beach yoga in the making yes aerobics so a lot of plans on practical spirituality and also how to stay fit or in the pipeline of our activities where mm-hmm. time to time we'll be doing them so come on come on join this movement where we make spirituality a practical aspect of our lives and affairs mm-hmm. thank you all thank you to lord akam <laughs>